Hello. Uh, today I'm going to show you how uh, to create an IP with uh, DMA master capability to uh, integrate into Zinc uh, system and uh, SSDDR. And here in the slide number one, uh, there are three steps. And the first one is pack your RTO code using IP packager. And while doing the IP packaging, uh, there are two uh, interface ports you must be uh, uh, configured. Uh, the one is slave port for a register access, and the other is master port for DDR or ACP access. And in the IPI, uh, once you complete the IP packager uh, packaging, and in IPI, you can import your IP and connect your the other uh, master port of IP to ACP port or HP port. And if you connect to ACP port, uh, you can have better cache coherence. And if you connect the master port to HP port, uh, basically you have uh, uh, data storage capability or other general purpose. And and the slate port is uh, relatively simple because uh, it's just an uh, interface for CPU or firmware can access the register. And just be sure you uh, add, you assign a base address for your IP. And uh, if you choose to connect your IP to ACP port, uh, here is an example. Um, uh, if you know uh, a little bit uh, about USB host, you will know uh, there is a structure called QHead, QH here in DDR. And this data structure will be maintained by uh, both firmware and USB host IP. So both driver or USB, USB host IP uh, will access this area in the DDR. So uh, the first step is the driver will uh, write something like uh, 105678A to this memory address to update the queue head. And then uh, the data will be stored in cache and uh, in some case. and and second, the USB hoster will try to fetch QHead instead and, and try to uh, understand the current status and decide whether to execute USB transaction or not. And once USB hoster is doing this re-transaction, and the USB hoster will get the correct data, which is 1205678 from cache instead of from DDR. So, Basically, uh, the data coherence is correct, but uh, this configuration uh, will decrease CPU performance because now there will be two uh, master accessing cache. And the, the, there is another scenario uh, if you connect your IP to HP port, high performance port, and there is a possible issue. And First step is driver try to update the queue head and write 10568A to this memory base address and the data was stored in cache. And USB host that will try to fetch the, the same address from DDR and but this time USB host that will get 5555555 from DDR instead of 12345678 because uh, USB host that didn't have the knowledge uh, of cache, so uh, there will be a mistake uh, in this scenario. And the possible solution is uh, the driver must invalidate or flush the cache and in order to uh, push this data into the DDR, and the, drive, and the USB host will get the, the correct data from DDR. And uh, for more information, you can uh, download a UG585 and check uh, this section PO DMA uh, via AXIACP.
you can have better understanding uh, and to decide whether to connect to HP port or ATP port. And there is another difference between HP port and CP port. Uh, here is the block diagram of the DDR interface. You can see there are four channels and the channel number zero is the height uh, priority channel and uh, as you can see the CPU and ACP has the highest uh, priority to add DDR so this is just a, uh, another difference to decide whether to connect to ACP port or HP port and this is my uh, project and you can see uh, I have my uh, EHCI which is USB host I, I uh, use IP Packager to pack as an IP and uh, uh, because the native interface of EHCI is a HB Lite so I have to use a XC4 to HB Lite bridge to connect uh, between Zinc and EHCI and the EHCI multiple will uh, use uh, HB Lite to XC4 bridge and to connect to uh, ACP port of Zinc Hardcore. And the reason I'm doing this, uh, I mean, uh, connect to ACP port directly is uh, our uh, native driver didn't support cache. And uh, under this uh, under this configuration, uh, our non-OS driver and RTOS driver are porting OK, and with uh, USB Wi-Fi. Uh, dongle and uh, we can do uh, image transmission on Zinc processor on Zinc platform okay so uh, let's look at the design uh, but basically just like I mentioned before I uh, the Zinc processor the Zinc PS uh, using AXI to connect to XC uh, bridge and connect to uh, USB 2.0 host and the master using uh, HP Lite to XC bridge and uh, with another AXI interconnect to uh, ACP port of the process system and beware uh, the A these two signal must be uh, tied to high because uh, the only way we can ask, access the ACP port is uh, using secure access so these two, uh, these two uh, channel uh, cache must be tied to high and or otherwise you will get uh, response error while doing uh, XC read or write And this is the EHCI uh, packaging project. So in the IP ports and interface, you can see I have two uh, IP ports, one is slave, one is master. And I'm doing uh, all the port mapping, so uh, no parameter. This is HP Lite interface definition and the other is slave port choosing slave again interface type is HP Lite and this is very important IP addressing and memory and for slave port you need to create a range so uh, so the CPU will have the, um, the knowledge of how big is your uh, memory uh, map register so you just keep the range and the master you also need to give the master a range and to tell the, the link processor and how big the, the memory you can access and here I give the FFFF so I can have the ability to access a whole range of DDR so if you look at here, the slave port, uh, which is 
uh, 64K. This is a uh, register based offset. And this ACP port, uh, I can have one gig access from ACP port to uh, DDR here. So, um, uh, hopefully, you get the basic idea uh, about how to use your own IP to packaging into uh, I in integrate into IPI and connect to Zinc processor and access the DDR. Thank you.